Hi, today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the Corgi EM7280. So first of all, we will need to have a medium dimension wheel, so 14, 15 inches would be perfect. We put the right cone from inside and lock the wheel on the balancing shaft. So first step would be to pick up the dimension of the wheel. With the internal gauge, we will pick up the distance and then diameter. And with the external gauge, we will pick up the width. In this case, 6.5 inches. Okay, once we have done that, we will go through the menu button. After that, setting and selecting balance calibration. Confirm and enter again. As you can see, first step will be a spin of the wheel. It's preferable to have a wheel with the unbalance close to zero. It doesn't have to be exactly zero, but the closest it is, the, the most precise gets the calibration. So we will perform a first spin. As you can see, the monitor now tells me to use the slug to calibrate it. So all the new machines will use this system. As you can see, it stopped exactly at 12 o'clock. And here, on the inner part of the shaft, I have a thread hole. So what I do, I will just place this calibration weight on the internal side, as the monitor shows, and perform another spin. Machine stops again. Now it will bring again the position at 12 o'clock. I take the calibration off, weight off and I just turn it inside out and place it again in the same position. Now I will perform the third spin. Now wait to take the hood up because the machine will make other two checking spins after the third one to make sure the calibration is done properly. The calibration will be confirmed by three beeps coming from the machine. Done. So this was the procedure to calibrate it with the slug. So all the new machines produced from November 2011 will be equipped with this. For all the previous machine, you will keep using the 100 weight or 3.5 ounces weight. So you will go through the same program, so pick up the dimension of the wheel first, go to settings, go to calibration, enter. You will do the first spin with the wheel like I've done before. The second spin, instead of placing this, I will just put the 100 grams or 3.5 ounces where the machine asked me to. The third spin will be the 100 grams or 3.5 ounces outside. So it's basically the same procedure, but we will use this one instead of that.